And I want to begin my message this morning by sharing the story of one man who performed a solitary act of musical courage. It happened in the late 1990s when the Bosnian War was uh, ravaging the city of Sarajevo. You have to imagine uh, deadly snipers on the hillsides, bombs falling every night and destroying homes and shops and civic buildings, desperate citizens scurrying between piles of rubble foraging for bread, hoping to stay alive one more day. One explosion was particularly deadly. A bomb fell on a group of people that was lined up outside a bakery, uh, hoping to find some morsel of bread when the bakery opened, and the blast killed all 22 of them. The next day, veteran Smilovich, if I'm saying that right, came to the scene. He set up a chair, carefully took his cello out of its case, and began to play the beautiful strains of Albanoni's Adagio. He did the same thing the next day and the day after that. 22 adagios on 22 days for 22 victims. The cellist of Sarajevo, they began to call him. And as a veteran of the Philharmonic Orchestra, he simply would not let his music be silenced, nor would he let people's hope grow dim. And so, so Smilovich played for funerals and he performed solo concerts in bombed out buildings. And in that place of death and destruction, his cello became an instrument of hope and his life a witness to holy beauty. I believe, like the cellist of Sarajevo, we have a melody to play. We are living in the ruins of a broken world where death and pain are daily realities. And yet, as the followers of Christ, we do not lose hope. Instead, we scrape the gospel on the strings of our souls, making the music that proclaims the coming of the kingdom of God.